What's up this maniacs? I'm crushing plastic out here in uh, Mia's disc golf park in Fuengirola, Spain. We're playing at the Natural Born Disc Golfers Fuengirola Open. Today's final day and I decided to do a quick in the bag update for 2019 end of the season. So putting with the Lynx this year, very similar to the Wizards that I used to have. Just a little bit shallower, just a little bit easier release and a little bit more glide. Very straight, good for putting, good for throwing, any angles seems to work. Added one crusty oldie in the bag, so the original P-Line MD3, pretty flippy, so if I'm throwing a tight downhill gap, for example, I can give it about 60% of power, a little bit of hyzer, watch it pop up and it will just ride flat forever. So anything very understable mid-range duties will be with this one. So you may remember this from older in the bags video. So the trusty color glow C line MD3. This is the neutral straight mid-range. I can do it in any angle. It holds straight pretty well with power still. A little bit more overstable, still in the bag. Glow C line MD4. A little bit more range, especially if you start it with a little bit Anheuser and get, let it flex out. Very good also for forehands. So I flick this and the MD3 also. Then the overstable mid range, the crazy overstable concave topped Scott Withers Glow Gator. This is one trick pony, you only want to go to the ground as soon as possible. So nothing new there. Flippy fairway, so the first run S line swirly CD2. It will turn over from flat or from pretty good hyzer to flat. So not throwing the understable plastic too much out here in Mias as it's uh, very windy, but I still have the whole bag with me. Second run FD, which I usually only have for forehand and hyzer flicks. I haven't used this uh, disc here at all much, but still in the bag, good for that stuff. Uh, the three-tooled uh, Color Glow FD2, Leo Pironen signature stamp. This has a little bit more stability than the second run FD, so I can do flex forehands with this a little tighter than with the next. The C-Line FD3, this will flex much more from steeper angle so that's kind of the progress of stabilities from the flippy fairway second round fd2 three tooled fd2 and then uh, the fd3 one more fairway in the bag so the roaming thunder one pop top uh, cd2 this is much more stable gets uh, good range with hyzer, pretty impressive range with flex backhands also. Then going on to the distance drivers, next category I carry two uh, S-Line DD3s, one is 168 grams and one is 175, the max weight is noticeably more stable. So these are the bread and butter in my bag, especially in Mias, I'm blasting this light one on uh, almost every other hole here. Get uh, get it on a big flex and watch it ride out. I can hit like 120 meters with this. So very fun stuff to throw here with massive elevation change. Then also still the Glow DD2. Although the S-Line DD3s are taking over much of these responsibilities. I think I use this more for uh, max distance uh, Forehands, like flex forehands also. Then the last category, the Max Bombers. The Flippy Rampage in my bag, not using it much here. Then the Medium Stability Rampage with the Nicola Crastro stamp. Uh, using this quite a lot here too, if I don't want to flex out with the DD3s. Last in my bag, the Diamond Spirit, which is uh, stupid overstable, using this a lot here. I can mash it on a like crazy Anheuser angle and watch it flex back. So that's 
what's in my bag for 2019. See you next year.